very, very little. Late in the first half against Hope and briefly last week. Keeper by Taylor off a of fake down inside the one, dives forward and he's across for a Mount St. Joe touchdown. Fabulous opening drive by the Lions. St. John, the freshman quarterback, drops, sets his feet, throws over the middle, caught by Frenchko down to the 17, an excellent tackle, otherwise Frenchko. St. John hands it off, Williams hitting the backfield, gets away, bursts to his left, has the first down inside the five, stood up at the three, driving the legs, looking for the goal line, and finds it for a Scott's touchdown, we're tied at six. Oh, what a powerful run by Eddie Williams. But still swirling. Obviously, no lack of distance, and it is good. The Scots lead 7.56 to go in the first quarter, 7-6. 7.56 to go in the first quarter. The Scots take the lead. The difference is an extra point that found its way into the left upright for Kyle Farfsing. Turner back deep to return as the wind begins to howl even more. Caleb boots underneath. This is going to land short, takes an awkward bounce. Now handcuffs Turner, hits him right in the face mask. He scoops it up at the one yard line and the Scots are there. Beaudry with the tackle along with a host of others. Will Hampton down there and it's going to be awful field position for the Lions as the conditions rear their ugly head. First, a trio of receivers go left for the mount, looking right instead. It's Taylor and the pressure comes and he goes down. Safardini on a blitz and the 20 Second sack, or twice, 27th sack for the Scots on the season ends the Mount St. Joseph drive. He never drive. saw Taylor on a quarterback draw, goes to his right, gets away from Sofferdini. No, and Sofferdini's back to make the tackle. That was Robertson, and now the ball loose, and it's scooped up, and the Scots are headed the other direction. It's Duma Gage to the 10. Nelson stripped it away. And Connor Duma with an Alma touchdown. Late in the play, Nelson, who saved the game last week with an interception, knocks it loose. The ninth career turnover in which Gage Nelson has been involved. Connor Duma, the touchdown, and it's 13 to six. That Murray now will punt down when low snap, barely gets through, and the Scots block it. They're trying to find it as the ball is loose, but they got through. First block punt of the year for Alma, and they'll have great field position. Defense and special teams making a massive difference in this game right now. Is that the first block punt they yeah, blocked? Yeah. Reif wants it himself. This time the dive gets across and the Scots lead 20 to six. Great job by the left side of that Scots old line. Walters put a pad in there as well. And a huge start to this ball game for the Scots. And three linebackers, second down and 10. Taylor looking left. Now nobody there in a lot of trouble. Way back near the 50 yard line. There's a flag down likely for a hold. Taylor will run, gets hit hard along the sidelines by Nelson. Taylor to throw for it, looking to his right now, flushed well deep in the pocket, all the way back at his 40, rolling, throwing on the run, looking in the end zone, Newton's open out there, leaps, and does he hold on? Yes, it is a touchdown for the Lions. Almost knocked away, Duma thought he knocked him out of the back of the end zone. Motion from Ayler, loops around behind the play, he may want to throw this, he swing it back to him, he throws it into the end zone, and it's caught by Newton. Ayler completed a pass earlier this season, the touchdown to Taylor. This time it's a two-point conversion that's good. 21 to 14. Third and goal from the three, Scots press the line of scrimmage. It's Beecham trying to get outside of the right. The Scots are there in the backfield, a flag down. Beecham stopped for a loss of three. Well, it's time. Play action, looking right, throwing underneath, and an easy touchdown for Newton once again. Probably a little bit of a pick play there to spring him, and an easy score, and an extra point away from tying the game. He gets it down that snap, a little bit off to the side, but Farfsing boots it through, and we are all square at 21, 3.20 to play in the first half. Stay with us. Last play of the first half, Taylor looking long down the sideline. Scott's gets some pressure, he takes off on the run. Into Scott's territory, dives forward to the 40, the clock reads zeros, and we'll play 30 minutes for a bid in next week. 21-21 at the half. That was Zach Reefman calling the plays for Elman to do that. Little fake pitch, John wants to throw over the middle. Thomas wide open in midfield, and he's got a lot of space. A big block from Waterman. Thomas off to the races at the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5. Cole Thomas in for a touchdown. Ty Waterman, a huge block to eliminate Deshaun Starks, and Cole Thomas puts the Scots on top. Up the kick, good. 28-21, Elma, 8-10 to play in the third. 19, Elma leads this game 28-21. Taylor with all kinds of time in the pocket, checks it down again. Caught by Hunley, but the Scots there quickly to pick up only of five or six. Elma will be just fine with that. Force another punt. St. John, all kinds of time. Going to lob it down the sideline into a lot of traffic. It'll leave it grabbed by Thomas in double coverage. That's what Cole Thomas does right there. High points the football. Hogan remains the running back. Play action. 
Crone caught underneath Thomas again, down to the 30, to the 25, all the way to the 19-yard line. Cole Thomas rumbling as Lucas Bowling pulls him down. Fourth down coming in today to Rife, wants to throw, out to Webb, makes the catch, down to the five, down to the three, and out of bounds. Add the 21st consecutive game of a Nate Webb catch, and this is a huge fourth down conversion. Snap back to Rife, looking for a hole on the right, and that hole includes a trip to the end zone. No, Waiting fumble, for a fumble the, the ball football. Is loose. Scooped up and going the other way with Could Austin Price down the sidelines. The Scots have to chase him down all the way out to the 40 and brought down near midfield. What a turn of events. They almost got their offense out there. Mount's got their defense coming out and still no signal. Referee takes a look to the sidelines. We may have a measurement here at least. There will be a timeout for measurement. Devin Sawyers eyeballed it and said we've got it. Looks to me to be a little it's short. very, very close. The spot was perfect, I think. Yeah. It looks to me to be a little short, but I am at a bit of an angle. Bad angle. They'll, They'll bring stretch the it out. out. And it is about four inches short. The Scots, another fourth down hold. They did it on the goal line last week. Last week, second and seven, Hogan again. Same cutback play, gets through to the 35, the 40, breaks out of a tackle there. Oh! A big stiff arm to the sideline and racing inside the 40 all the way to the 30. Did he step out of bounds sooner? It doesn't look like it. Sure but didn't. stiff arm. Goralski in motion, play fake. St. John looking over the middle, lobs it up high, trying to adjust to it. Williams makes the grab for an Elma touchdown. 21 yard touchdown catch for Eddie Williams. Williams, the running back as the Scots start from their 16. He gets it. Running to the left where the Scots have found their best holes in the second half. Gets outside, turns it up, down the sideline, and just dragged onto the oh. edge. St. John play action. Quick throw over the middle of Wobbler. A great catch by Webb. He's upended immediately, but another first down as he reached down low. <laughs> second and 10 for Elma. Give to Hogan again, up the middle. Breaks the tackle down to the 25. And a big game. Now still on his feet. Make it the 21, the 20, the 19 for Buddy Hogan. The Elma from the 14, crucial to hold onto the football now. Williams inside the 10 on a run, down to the seven. Action, so the Scots will look to the end zone. St. John pushes the pitch out to it? Williams and in for a touchdown. What an effort. The end zone alums explode and Elma leads 40 to 21. High snap, Kruger gets it down, kick is up, blowing around in the wind and this one's good. 41, 21, 238, separate the Scots from the second round. Trade that lesson to a T. 232 to go, Taylor under pressure and sacked by Robertson back at the 35. Second down and 16, throw and intercepted, Friedenberg. The Scots punctuate it with a pick. Victory formation for the Scots. We'll see if the Lions use a timeout. I don't believe that they will. I think in a 20 point game, you don't really need to. Elmo will kneel it down. The celebration will be a little bit subdued only because of the rules. It won't be subdued once they get yep, on the other yep, side of those gates. Exactly. The Elma Scots move to the second round, 41 to 21 over Mount St. Joe, commence the celebration.